Good day, fellow programmers and users of the Erlicht game engine. And yes, that's how you pronounce it, Erlicht, I believe. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to import an animated model that's not MD2 or MD3, an actual skinned model. You know, something that you'd actually use. So let me let me just show you what I've got so far. Um, Yep, that's that's the dude. Yep, that's a big guy, Sheikh Pring. Uh, and he's pretty cool. And it works. So, yeah, that's how I do it. Let me just close this thing. Come on, don't be sticky. Oh, freak. Okay, quit. Um, okay, so here's how I did it. First of all, you know, this that's the model. Um, any it's it's a normal mesh that's uh, skinned with an armature and uh, animated, and the textures um, here, you know, it's UV unwrapped with this texture. Um, I have to note, I know it's not related to this video, but you have to unwrap the textures. Uh, using other methods, you have to UV unwrap them. Using uh, using other methods might not work. Um, okay, uh, to export it, you're gonna have to use the B3D file format, the B3D, uh, and that one is not included by default in Blender, so you'll have to use an exporter. And the exporter, um, I'm using this one right here. I've tried several ones. And this one is the one that worked for me, so I'm gonna share that with you guys in the description. Uh, yeah, so that's the Python file you need to download, that B3D export. Uh, so yeah, you just get into Blender, you hit File, User Preferences, Add-ons, and you install from File, and you select the Python file that we downloaded earlier, which is this one, and you tick it. This is, that's the one, you just tick it, and oh come on just just shut the fuck okay here and then you, you save the user preferences and you're gonna have the export b3d entry uh so yeah you export you export the um uh, the model along with the uh with the armature by the way you know what i do is i select both of them right you know, so here box select these dudes and then i export them and I, I, these are the options that works for me. I hope they work for you too. I just export selected only with vertex normals, vertex colors, and I overwrite without asking, you know, in case I have an old version that I already exported that's not needed anymore. Um, and then, you know, I export. And of course, I as well include the texture. I, you know, I just save the texture to. Um, to my working um, directory where I'm developing the game so yeah I, I just add them both to the assets so here is the shape b3d file and the textures for it it's just a P normal PNG file and let's get into the code the code is pretty simple this is just the hello world example uh, the hello world tutorial in the Erlicht engine and uh, I just modified it just a little tiny bit. I added an FPS camera and as well I of course changed the model that I'm gonna be importing uh, importing it importing I import the sheikh.b3d and I add the texture and I disable the, the material lighting so that I wouldn't have to worry about the lighting um, and here's how you apply the animation. You just call the function that's called set frame loop. In my case, I only have one animation, which is from the frame number one to frame number 650. Um, normally, your character will have multiple animations. So you, for example, have a walk animation, a running animation, uh, a jumping animation, and so on and so forth. What you to use multiple animations, you're gonna have to stack them up 
one after another. So for example, your walking animations would be from frame number one to frame number 150, for example. And then from frame 151 to frame 300, that would be the running animation. And then from 301 to 500 would be the jumping animation. And you get the idea, okay? And depending on the start and end frame of each animation, you're gonna control which animation is happening and of course the animation speed uh, you know that's just how many frames per second in my case 24 frames per second works fine and the rest of the code is exactly the same as the hello world example and yeah let's and that's it that's pretty much it nothing more to add and you know I just compile and run it and here is my dude and it works flawlessly Thank God. Uh, so yeah, I hope that helps. Have a wonderful day, fellow developers.